The cosmos far beyond our planet is filled with things so weird and wonderful that it can be difficult to believe they exist. Perhaps the weirdest of them all are black holes. Bottomless pits that devour stars, power the centers of galaxies, and warp space and time. If you get too close, the entirety of time may pass you by and there is no return. We don't yet know all the details of how black holes work, but this is not the same as having no knowledge at all. So let's peer into the darkness and resolve what we can, and bust some myths along the way. Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects in space. They're extremely dense, with such strong gravitational attraction that not even light can escape their grasp. Perhaps the most prevalent myth about black holes is that they suck matter towards them, like really powerful vacuum cleaners. Don't worry, they're not going to eventually consume everything in the universe, and you don't need to be afraid of them, unless you plan on traveling very close. Why? Well, even though black holes are extreme in many ways, they don't have infinite mass, and it's mass that determines the force of their gravity. Some black holes, known as stellar black holes, have about the amount of mass that very massive stars do. So, just as objects can orbit massive stars without falling in, the same is true of black holes. You could happily orbit a black hole forever. Once you get close enough, the story's different. The gravity will guide you in. But that's the same as any massive object, like a planet or star. The Milky Way could contain over 100 million black holes, though detecting these gluttonous beasts is very difficult. At the heart of the Milky Way lies a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star. The colossal structure is about 4 million times the mass of the Sun and lies approximately 26,000 light years away from Earth, according to a statement from NASA. The first image of a black hole was captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope EHT, collaboration. The striking photo of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy 55 million light years from Earth thrilled scientists around the world. Black Hole Discovery Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. After decades of black holes being known only as theoretical objects, the first black hole ever discovered was Cygnus X1, located within the Milky Way in the constellation of Cygnus, the Swan. Astronomers saw the first signs of the black hole in 1964 when a sounding rocket detected celestial sources of X-rays according to NASA. In 1971, astronomers determined that the X-rays were coming from a bright blue star orbiting a strange black object. It was suggested that the detected X-rays were a result of stellar material being stripped away from the bright star and gobbled up by the dark object, an all-consuming black hole. How many black holes are there? According to the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSCL, Approximately one out of every thousand stars is massive enough to become a black hole. Since the Milky Way contains over 100 billion stars, our home galaxy must harbor some 100 million black holes. Though detecting black holes is a difficult task, and estimates from NASA suggest there could be as many as 10 million to a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. The closest black hole to Earth is dubbed the Unicorn and is situated approximately 1,500 light years away. The nickname has a double meaning. Not only does the black hole candidate reside in the constellation Monoceros, the unicorn, its incredibly low mass, about three times that of the Sun, makes it nearly one of a kind. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, collaboration, released the first image ever recorded of a black hole. The EHT saw the black hole in the center of galaxy M87 while the telescope was examining the Event Horizon, or the area past which nothing can escape from a black hole. The image maps the sudden loss of photons. It also opens up a whole new area of research in black holes, now that astronomers know what a black hole looks like. In 2021, astronomers revealed a new view of the giant black hole at the center of M87, showing that the colossal structure looks like a polarized light. As polarized light waves have a different orientation and brightness compared to unpolarized light, the new image shows the black hole in even more detail. Polarization is a signature of magnetic fields, and the image makes it clear that the black hole's ring is magnetized. Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon and the singularity. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole, past which light cannot escape. Once a particle crosses the event horizon, it cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole, where the object's mass lies, is known as its singularity 
the single point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated. Scientists can't see black holes the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, astronomers must rely on detecting the radiation black holes emit as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. But supermassive black holes, lying in the center of a galaxy, may become shrouded by the thick dust and gas around them, which can block the telltale emissions. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is hurled outward, rather than being tugged into the maw. Bright jets of material traveling at near-relativistic speeds are created. Although the black hole remains unseen, these powerful jets can be viewed from great distances. The EHT's image of a black hole in M87, released in 2019, was an extraordinary effort, requiring two years of research even after the images were taken. That's because the collaboration of telescopes, which stretches across many observatories worldwide, produces an astounding amount of data that is too large to transfer via the internet. With time, researchers expect to image other black holes and build up a repository of what the objects look like. The next target is likely Sagittarius A star, which is the black hole in the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Sagittarius A star is intriguing because it is quieter than expected, which may be due to magnetic fields smothering its activity, a 2019 study reported. Another study that year showed that a cool gas halo surrounds Sagittarius A star, which gives unprecedented insight into what the environment around a black hole looks like. So far, astronomers have identified three types of black holes, stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and intermediate black holes. When a star burns through the last of its fuel, the object may collapse or fall into itself. For smaller stars, those up to about three times the sun's mass, the new core will become a neutron star or a white dwarf. But when a larger star collapses, it continues to compress and creates a stellar black hole. Black holes formed by the collapse of individual stars are relatively small but incredibly dense. One of these objects packs more than three times the mass of the Sun into the diameter of a city. This leads to a crazy amount of gravitational force pulling on objects around the object. Stellar black holes then consume the dust and gas from their surrounding galaxies, which keeps them growing in size. Small black holes populate the universe, but their cousins, supermassive black holes, dominate. These enormous black holes are millions or even billions of times as massive as the Sun, but are about the same size and diameter. Such black holes are thought to lie at the center of pretty much every galaxy, including the Milky Way. Scientists aren't certain how such large black holes spawn. Once these giants have formed, they gather mass from the dust and gas around them, material that is plentiful in the center of galaxies allowing them to grow to even more enormous sizes. Supermassive black holes may be the result of hundreds or thousands of tiny black holes that merge. Large gas clouds could also be responsible, collapsing together and rapidly accreting mass. A third option is the collapse of a stellar cluster, a group of stars all falling together. Fourth, supermassive black holes could arise from large clusters of dark matter. This is a substance that we can observe through its gravitational effect on other objects. However, we don't know what dark matter is composed of because it does not emit light and cannot be directly observed.